Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this. It is a 10 by 10 square. And they want nodes, two nodes exactly one inch apart here and here. So they sent it to me like this. It's a lot easier to go ahead and change it back to zero to move nodes. So to get a node, we're going to, have to go to object and convert it to a curve, and then we have nodes. Now, set your nudge distance on one inch. Take your shape tool and add a node. So now we have a node. Now, move that node manually to that node, and then take your right arrow key and move it over. Double click on the line, get another node, put it on top of that node, and nudge it over. Now you have two nodes, and if we rotate it, uh, well, minus 45 degrees, so that'll, that one will be on top. Now we have two nodes exactly one inch from that node. Don't really know what they're doing, but you can do that uh, repeatedly. You can have, you know, more nodes, uh, less nodes. I'm, you know, if you were going to take this node out, you get a chamfer. And if we measure that with the parallel dimension tool, it is. 1.44, 1.41, I don't know math-wise why that is. Let's turn it back to zero. Because um, the, the square is 10 by 10. Let's do this. Let's draw another 10 by 10 box. And this time, not, don't, um, don't turn it into a curve. And right here, you could put a chamfer, and we could do just this corner so we could unlock a ratio and put I'm going to just guess one inch if that's what you're wanting to do let's see how parallel dimension tool 1.41 so you get the same result now I'm only guessing they were going to remove that node but you could do anything with that you know, you can add nodes at any time, anywhere, and, you know, let's say if you wanted, to, well, if you want a node right in the center, let's draw another box. Let's draw another 10 by 10 box. If you need a node right in the center, all you have to do is take it, go to object, convert it to a curve, take your nodes and select those two, and add a node and put it right in the middle. Now, to added one here, we can delete it. So if you needed it right in the middle, that's right in the middle. Now, if you needed it, you know, one inch, you know, we can move that node. Our nudge factor is still set on one. We can move it over there. You can't, if you double click on this node to make a new node, it's going to disappear. So to add a new node, you got to, Double click on the line, move that node there, and then nudge it over. So you can nudge, and it you don't have to, it doesn't have to be an inch nudge. With nothing selected, you can change it to two inches. Now we can grab our shape tool and nudge it two inches. So now that's three inches apart. Now with that said, this is another reason you do this. Let's put a node right in the middle by going plus sign. Take rid of that one. Convert these three nodes to a line. And remember, we got our nudge factor set on three inches. It's going to move that node three inches up, six inches up, and so on. Well, I said three. We had it set on two. That gives you the ten. But you can always, you know, go back to it. You know, nudge it back down. There's eight, six. Four, two, and zero. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.